Hi everyone, welcome to Kunam's Kitchen. Today I'm making restaurant style lachha paratha and I'm not making it the traditional way. The traditional way is a little tricky and requires some practice. But I have this ultra easy method that even a five year old who plays with Play Doh will know how to put this together. If you like my method, do give me a thumbs up, like my Facebook page at Poonam's Kitchen. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Now let's see how to make restaurant style lachha paratha. To make the dough, here I have one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, salt, sugar, milk plus water. This is 225 ml. I have warmed it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And oil. Now let's knead the dough. I'll transfer the whole wheat flour into this bowl. To this I'll add half teaspoon salt and one teaspoon sugar. Mix the salt and sugar with the wheat flour. I'll add one tablespoon oil. I'm just eyeballing it and give this a good mix. With the oil, the wheat flour will make a crumbly mixture or in the mix of this milk and water, little at a time and incorporate it with the wheat flour. Now to make lachha paranthas, I need a soft dough, softer than what we make for rotis. I'll make some depressions in the dough, small wells, and pour in some mixture of milk and water in these wells. I'll cover this with a lid and let it rest on the kitchen shelf for 15 minutes. Let me give it a final knead. The dough is ready and now this dough goes in the refrigerator for at least half an hour. If possible, more than that. I'll give this dough a little massage on this rolling board. A final massage. The dough is ready. I'll divide the dough in five equal sized balls. So here I have the five balls ready. Each ball has to be very smooth. There shouldn't be any cracked edges. So we are ready to roll this into a lachha parantha. I have set the griddle on heat. I put the heat at medium. I will toss this ball in this wheat flour and roll this into a big disc. I'm going to roll uniformly on all the sides. So I'm essentially rolling a big roti right now. Toss this in the wheat flour as and when needed and roll on the same side again. At this stage, do not really bother whether the disc is coming out to be a round or not. So here I have this big roti. On this disc, I'll apply ghee, a very generous helping. Using a knife or a pizza cutter, I'll make small cuts, first vertical cuts. You might find this very unusual, but this is the easiest way to make lachha parantha. And now horizontal cuts. Again, I'll be making five of these cuts. And now I'm going to sprinkle some whole wheat flour on this. Very generous in this. Those of you who have seen my stuffed egg parantha video will now be able to relate to what I'm going to do. Once this is done, I have to just collect all these pieces together. I'll start with the smaller ones, one on top of the other. The ones at the corners are small. Just put all these together, simple. The smaller ones on the top, I've got one pile, another one. Another pile. I have all these piles together. The biggest ones at the bottom. And the smaller ones. And then the smallest ones. So this is how the lachha parantha is going to have all the layers. Press this with your palm. Toss this in the wheat flour. Now roll this just like any other roti with the largest rectangle on the top.
Now for this one, it's your choice how big you want this to be. And now let's take a look at our rolled disc. I wonder if you're able to see in the camera the layers. Once cooked, all these layers are going to be very, very prominent. That's my promise to you. Now this goes face down on the griddle. You start seeing bubbles on the stop side. It's time to flip over. Yes, that side is partially cooked. Now we'll wait for the bottom side also to cook partially. 10-15 seconds after flipping, I'll apply ghee on this side and flip this over. I'll apply ghee on the stop side as well. Press it lightly so that it's crisp. The characteristic of Lachha Paranta is that it's crisp, crumbly and it melts in your mouth. It starts crumbling in your hands. It is so soft. Flip this over. Can you see the beautiful layers? And the Lachha Paranta is ready. Now to show the layers, just crush it between your palms. Very light. And you just look at the layers of the Paranta. This is the bottom side. And just look at the layers. So many of them. So guys, this was restaurant style La Chaparata, the easy way. Hope you liked this recipe. See you again with a new recipe very soon. Till then, bye.